Well, guys, what a way to start my week. I've not seen a Sunday garage sale in like years. They used to be really popular, and this one even says it's from 8 to 8 p.m. The prices, though, sometimes. Oh, it's three bucks, isn't it? Oh, here's Cyclops. I just sold one of these. I'm starting to know the X Men guys. Wow. I sold like three of them. So I'm going to trade. Alright, so let's look at the purses that are $2 and the jewelry over here. Arab. Uh, is that the Iraqi? That be the Iraqi flag. I'm going to have to get that. This looks like some kind of uniform embellishment. I guess I have to get everything in this box. Okay, so I'm going to take a look. Looks like there's some interesting things here. That's a pretty earring. What's this that? I need another lanyard. I was in the autism room the other day, and then one of the lovely girls yanked on my lanyard and broke it. So it doesn't retract anymore. I was hoping that was it. These are cute, but they're big. Pretty too. Okay, so I stopped by at a um, an estate sale, and they have a whole light kit here. Everything is half off, and I found a JVC turntable that um, I'm going to give to my daughter. She's been looking for one. So we'll see. They said it worked. Oh, look, sewing storage. That is cute. Anyway. Anyhow, they had a beautiful Samsung fridge. Of course, they sold that, and I need a yeah, fridge. Yeah, it's here. They sold it for what? half price, which was two fifty. I had it for five hundred, and um, but it was really nice. But anyway, okay. Christmas stuff. I don't need any. Don't want any. Don't even want to resell it. Oh, it's so cute though. Please stop here. Oh, cute stuff. But you know, it's good to come back on half price day, huh? Because I wouldn't have bought that stereo for $40. Did I find some linens? Oh, I found some ashtrays. Snap packs. Let's look at these. Um, let's see. Trust. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, that's a big hat, though. That is really cool. I gotta get that. I found some mugs. Let's see. This one has something about space and safety. So, NASA safety reporting made in the USA. I think it's 99 cents, so I don't think I'll get an extra discount on that. And then this one said flying saucer has a peace sign. Then I saw John Lennon and I love him. Yellow IPA, so I got that too. Which they are, and they look like they're all sports games. So, I ask about that. <laughs> No holidays on the shelves. I like when that's happening sometimes. Oh, that's a cute 4th of July. But it's super expensive, 656. But I came to look at the um, bric-a-brac. I'm kind of done with clothes right now. I'm taking a break. I've been going to a lot of estate sales and garage sales. So I have quite a few things listed and quite a few things waiting to be listed. So, um, you know, as you know, I work full time as a teacher. So I come home. Do a little bit of listing. I try to do all of my pictures during the weekend and then I have them stored in my phone, you know, kind of drafted up already. So that's what I've been doing. And um, yeah, I've got about, I would say about 400 things listed on eBay and another five on <laughs> Etsy and um, that's the other one, Poshmark, Amazon. So pretty busy with all of that. I am a dolphin, so it's kind of cool. I like that. So I asked her to let me see the jewelry bags that are down there. They don't look that interesting, but they're kind of cheap. And I'm going to see some of the brooches, like that uh, fleur-de-lis there. Those sell really well, usually, even if they're cheap, especially around uh, Mardi Gras. I thought the, sh the heel was interesting on the shoe here, and then I turn it around, and it's uh, Tory Burch, supposedly, but it's not. It's a fake. And you can tell this fake stuff, guys. Just lift this up. I mean, it's glued. Tory Burch would not just glue the little emblem, you know, it would be 
sewn and it would be nice and it doesn't even feel like leather, it feels like plastic. So obviously a fake and I still want $39 for them. Crazy. Japanese mugs, so cute. I wish I could find the fourth, I found three with some bears. Indianapolis Raceway thingy with some winners on it. I looked that up so it's got some names and I guess from the different years of winning. And then there's another one with some Amish people on it and uh, some keen shoes for $4, which I have sold two pairs of keen shoes. Yet. Like I said, I have plenty of clothes. I'm looking at everything else today. And, uh, you know, I just like to diversify. I get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So, yeah, we're going to look at the Tupperware, we're gonna all the brick and brac, of course, mugs, glassware, that kind of thing. I'm debating this one. It's so mid century. This little textured frosted glass. I remember having juice glasses like that at my mother's house. So nice. Can you imagine this full of mimosas? One day, I can dream, right? I don't know. Then I can earn a discount too when I shop here. I'm gonna think about it. I'll put it in the basket. What do you think? Should I get it? So I've been doing jewelry jars for a while now, at least a couple of years, but I never really found, you know, uh, anything really fantastic. But I did the other day, I found this Chanel gold-plated bracelet. And it was at another Goodwill, but I had also found one here with some 14 karat gold earrings. Hallmark Israel and Hallmark 14 karat. Okay, can I take a look at that jewelry jar there, please? At a thrift store, a word came to mind as I was trying to find my way back to this thrift store because it's not one of my um, frequent stops, but it is one of my favorite. The word compulsion came to mind because I was I just had this overwhelming to, compulsion to come back to this store. Yeah, I've done really well with the books that I found in here and I wanted to see if they had any jewelry. Oh, so, oh gosh, that door won't stop opening. Hey, I just got that book. Now we have it back here like it's a collectible. It wasn't worth that much. I think it was like 15 bucks on it. percent off the furniture. All right, I'm finished with that one as well. Thank you. Can I see these two bracelets right here? The gold and the beaded. And this little box of rings. Now the watch in front of it. May I see that as well? Thank you. <coughs> yeah, the little box of rings, please. Can you see what that says? Lip, I can't lip right see. there. All right, guys, this is my second stop in my blitz. 20 minutes at each stop. I got one more to go to. So anyway, so yeah, I think I'll get her that. That is just too cute. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the front before the alarm goes off. I was actually paying at the other one and the alarm went off. Maybe I'll go through this aisle to see if I see any Pyrex. I've had luck with Pyrex this month. So I'm kind of hunting for that too. See anything? Let me know. Come back tomorrow. See, here's some of that vintage Tupperware, but it's really pricey. And that one's even got the long lid on it. All right, I gotta get to that other place because that other place closes. Hey guys, found some cute Dooney and Burks. This is already the Chinese version of Dooney, but still nice. I like it. Wasn't too bad it was eight. That one was eight. This one's 25. This one's in really good condition. I rarely find this type that hasn't yellowed and we'll here's another one of those very important person mugs i have one that has the, the saucer and everything well we got quite an interesting array of dolls in the basket i have an asian doll it's supposed to look like a newborn then there's one here in the corner another doll and they're selling for about 40 dollars some of them 25 to 30 40 dollars on ebay when you find a tonka made out of metal Hey guys, I'm at the flea market. I know you've been with me here before, but look at what I have to look through. Table after table after table, but I am bound and determined to find all those little tykes. Furniture pieces. I already found a really nice high chair. It's in my box over there, everybody's carrying it. Okay, but uh, yeah, we've got mountains of stuff to look through. Yeah, I thought he was a little tykes, but he's not. Great flea market, I mean, still. They have their, their imports, their counterfeits, but they still have their garage sale area that um, we kind of um, found some good stuff. 
before we're headed back, we're just gonna grab a snack. But I'd sure like to try that beef teriyaki. Okay. How are you? Do you have sausage, cheese, and jalapeno? Mm -hmm. Claw cheese? Yes. Are they all this size? And yes. is that it there? I guess I'll have two. Do you have any sweet ones or sweet rolls of any kind? Uh, yes. Oh, the Danish. Oh, that looks really good. Uh, do you have any mustard? Uh huh. And these are the kolaches. Wow, they're pretty big. They look really good though. The jalapeno, sausage and cheese. And, wow, I'm gonna have to save one for lunch because those look really, really big. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for coming with me. I hope you enjoyed the ride along. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.